Hallelujah. Psalm 11 verse 3. It says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Some say foundations. Some say foundations. The Bible says in Isaiah 51, paraphrasing, do not forget where you come from. Tell your neighbor you come from somewhere. Now watch this. Where you come from, there is what is called the spiritual foundation. So, anything you are trying to build here in the city, okay, we are in Arare, but you are trying to build things in the city. The things you are trying to build in the city, you build them, watch this, on top of a spiritual foundation you brought from where you came from. So, this is why you can go to Europe, you can go to America, and the same problems you had here happen in a foreign nation. Why? Because you move around with your foundation. You go to work with your foundation. You get married with your foundation. You go to your job with your foundation. You do business with your foundation. So anything you do in life, you do it on top of your spiritual foundation. That is one of the most powerful revelations you will hear until Jesus comes. Because if you do not understand that, you will change what you are doing. But the results will not change. Because what is consistent is where you come from. Where you come from. In Bible days, when they introduced someone, they would ask, whose son is he? Whose daughter is she? Even before you married. And, 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 and in some cases, they said, don't marry from this tribe. Because there was something foundationally wrong with that tribe. It's only now you don't, you don't cross check. <laughs> People don't check where the person comes from. But where you come from is important. Are you listening to me? You cannot succeed independent of fixing your foundation. It's not possible. It's not possible. Are you hearing me? Somebody say foundations. Say it again. Say foundations. So, there are things that happened in the past that require for you and I to, to, to fix spiritually. Spiritually. So, many times people now, they, they go and consult and they are told, and those people that are saying, so, are right. It's just Christians that just believe that everything is okay, but it's not okay. And your life is telling you that things are not okay. Are you here this morning? Somebody say things are not yet okay. I'm here to fix things. So when you come for prayer shift, come with a view of fixing, fixing, fixing. That, this is a fixing ministry. We fix problems. We don't discuss them. Going to an all white church does not make you white. Hey, I have nothing against white churches. I follow Kenneth Copeland. But there are some things in white churches that don't apply to black people. Ah, you know, Zimbabwe and where Zinza, Kucheche white. They just tell you, uh, you know, you're a new creation. All things are passed away. If they passed away, how come my things are not working? That was a provision made by Christ. If you, if it's going to come to pass, it is based on the light you acquire. It's not automatic. It's not automatic. The things we read in the Bible are not automatic. The finished work of Christ operating in your life is not automatic. It is true that he finished the work. Just like the manufacturer finished, uh, finished making the drug and made it available in the pharmacy. But what they did there at the manufacturer making the drug available does not make you healed if you do not take the medication. So here we teach you how to take the medication and fix the problem. There is a problem. You are always sick. There is a problem. Yet there is divine health. Yet by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. So you have got to enforce that healing. By the word of God. You have got to be delivered. In Mount Zion. There must be deliverance. If it is not deliverance. It is not a church. It is a club. It is an association of friends. So we are here to change some things in our lives. 
I'm telling you, listen, this is the year of establishment, double establishment, and we cannot be established unless we fix the foundation. So the Lord said, I want you to sit on this topic. Uh, we are going to dwell here. Even if it's for some weeks, we are going to dwell here on this topic and deal with this topic because if the foundations be destroyed, ah, uh, you can be holier than Jesus, but still there will be a problem. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you need to deal with your foundation. You need to look at your background critically. Critically. Don't deny the failures of your father. Study the failures of your father. Study the patterns. Uh, study the patterns of divorce in your family. Uh, study the patterns of madness. Madness, madness. If there's ever been madness in your family, you need to pray seriously. Who told you that your child is automatically exempt from that madness? You need to cry out and begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon the minds of all your children and begin to cry out and say Lamentations 3 verse 22 by his mercies my children will not run mad uh, like my brothers and sisters my children will not be addicts so you now take the mercy of God and apply it do you know even God's mercy is not automatic if God's mercy was automatic everyone who sinned automatically would be forgiven without repentance so there are things that we assume that just because God said it, it's automatic. You know, one of the most concerning things, George, for me, for believers, is believers make a lot of bold statements without the corresponding light. And without the corresponding power. They, they like to say the devil is a liar. Have you made him a liar in your life? They like to say God forbid. Have you activated that God would forbid? Or you just assume God forbid. <laughs> so the lives of believers now are shameful because they, 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 they claim things that they don't have the power for. Success is power dependent. Growth of ministry is not automatic. It is a war. It is a, for everyone to walk into this morning prayer. All see these people here to walk in here. I was worrying last night. Because the Lord told me that unless you fight, the enemy will fight them coming. Because this topic is important. He said this topic is so important. Because if you fix this issue, their lives will be sorted. And if your life is sorted, you begin to testify. You begin to testify, you begin to depopulate hell and populate heaven. You begin to draw other people. So the enemy will fight this topic because the enemy is holding many Christians in the foundation. Joe, listen. The foundation of this building is invisible. This is not the foundation. This is the floor. Hello. In fact, this is the carpet. Underneath this carpet, there's a what? There's, there's concrete. This one. But Panama seem be pass patch. Can you see them? No, you can't see them. Watch this. But the effects of the foundation are visible. If this foundation was faulty, you can't see it until you look at whether this building stays up. Why do your things keep crumbling down? It is because the foundation is faulty. Faulty, faulty, faulty. Uh, we are going to fix it. We are going to fix it. And it takes work. It takes light. It takes revelation. It takes aggression. And many times it's not easy. Do you know why? Because the, the powers from your father's house, they begin to now bring spiritual complications and just begin to fight you and distract you during the season of dealing with foundation. Hey. I woke up this morning. I wanted to, to order cereal. The Holy Spirit said, you're not eating. He says, you're not eating. You need to deal with this matter. When you have a faulty foundation, a breadwinner becomes a bread loser. Bayati bagila. When you have a faulty foundation, uh, uh, the husband turns into a woman and the woman into the man because the woman begins to provide for the men. Listen, there are foundations that fight educated people. And the people who begin to make money in the family are the ones who are not educated. Go and check it. Go and check it. Because it means that 
the person who was educated is the one who has seen to have potential. So there are powers from families that find people with potential. And any time you begin to be a rising star in Africa, uh, your life is in danger. Your life is in jeopardy. You are hated for no, no reason. Because you are, you, are, you are potentially a game changer in your family. I, I'm talking to champions. You, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lord, you prophesied in my life. If this is so, why am I thus? Why am I thus? You are thus because of your foundation. Say, Holy Ghost, help me with my foundation. You cannot change your family history until you deal with your family foundation. That's why you hear the statement, history keeps repeating itself. Why? Because of foundation. Say, Holy Spirit, use me to change the history of my family. I know no good thing has ever come out of my rural area. I shall be the first. Ah, yeah, you need to, you're not, you're, you're not saying it. Say, I shall be the first. Say, I shall be the first. Say, I shall be the first. Gideon and his team, they cried out. They said, Lord, where are the miracles? I'm saved. Why am I not seeing the power of God? And God gave him an answer in verse 25, Judges number, number, number 6, verse 25. He said, cut down the altars of your father's house. Listen to me. There are altars that you see all over your family. Are you listening to me? But there are altars that are in the foundation. Those ones you have not seen and you have not dealt with. Uh, uh, because when they were doing the foundation of your family, there are certain things that the elders agreed. And those things now, they are contrary to you. There are satanic handwritings of ordinance that are written contrary to you, Colossians 2. So you need to take the blood of Jesus and wipe those things away. Otherwise, you continue to live a life that is nonsense. I refuse for my life to be nonsense. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to stretch forth uh, and begin to say, Jehovah, I need my life to make sense spiritually i need to see a shift in my life i am determined more than ever say holy ghost i need to see a change there are satanic handwritings of ordinances that are written in the foundation of my family they are contrary to my destiny begin to pray begin to pray Pray, clap in your hands. Come on. We are dealing with things. We are destroying some things in the foundation. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Oh, Kabata Lamahaya. Sola Bakala Mahaya. Hallelujah. There are things that were buried by our forefathers. There are animals that were slaughtered. The problem is not the slaughtering of animals. The problem is what was spoken at the slaughtering. Because whenever blood is spilled, covenants are made. You know, the Lord said something to me this morning. It is powerful. He said to me, I stopped Abraham from killing Isaac. Huh? He said, if I had not stopped Abraham from killing Isaac, I would have set a precedence that it is okay to kill your son for you to rise. And then I said, but Lord, you slew Jesus on the cross. Were you not setting a precedence? He said, no, because I had the power to raise him back up. So the only person permitted to slay their child is the one with the power to raise them up. Watch this. And he said, Abraham, he even said it. He said, I know God, even if I, 
killed Isaac, God would have raised him up again. So unless you can raise your child, don't sacrifice your child. When I heard this thing from the Holy Ghost, I said, Holy Ghost, what are you doing with my mind? That's why anyone who sacrifices their child, it's an abomination. It's an abomination. Shout, I refuse to be a sacrifice. Say, Holy Ghost, I refuse to be a sacrifice. Say, Holy Spirit, I am not a sacrifice. In my background, I am not a sacrifice. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You don't have to go to the devil to solve destiny problems. You are welcome here to come and fix your spiritual problems. Problems of poverty. Problems of anti-marriage. Problems of losing your job. Problems of losing your money. Come to prayer shift. It's a platform set for you to fix problems that look like they cannot be fixed. Is there anything too hard? For the Lord. Come on, pray like somebody who's fixing some things. Open your mouth and pray. You are fixing some things. You are changing the order. Zino gazirika, zino gazirika, zino gazirika. Haya tabako laba haya. Ha kabato haya. Ela haya tabako laba haya. Hashi alama kolama haya. Listen. Why is it easier for a white man to make money than a black man? Why? Do you know, we used to work for white companies. Big companies. And you'll be doing the same job as a white person. But if you saw his pay slip, you'd be heartbroken. You could find his ending times five, your salary. I discovered it at one point. I, I was heartbroken. And you were not allowed to show each other pay slip. If the salary is the same, why can't we share notes? So what, what makes it okay for, for me, a black person, to be paid less for the same job? What makes it okay? What makes it okay? It is because they look at you in the light of your background. Whenever anyone looks at you, what they see is not really you. It is your background. Because your background always comes up in meetings. It always comes up on a date. It, uh, <laughs> it always comes up in a relationship. It always comes up on a job. It always comes up in your business. That's why history keeps repeating itself. Because your background you have not dealt with keeps coming up. When I would have healed Israel, Isaiah 7, verse number 1, when I would have raised Joshua, when Zoe should have been married, then the iniquities of her father were brought up. What keeps being brought up? What keeps being brought up? You can't go for two weeks with your boyfriend without a fight. Two weeks you have broken a record. With your husband, it's, it's more fight than peace. Your house is a war zone. Go and check your sister. It's just your sister got tired and just decided to divorce. But you are hanging, you are just hanging on. Should marriage not be blissful? Do two people 
come together. One went to pay for the other one for them to come together to fight. It shows you there's a problem. And your mother is a single mother. I Please, I've got nothing against single mothers. I'm using an example. There's no single mother who does not in a right mind want a child to, to get married and do better than her. In a right mind. You have to put that in a right mind. Because there are mothers that push children away from husbands. So what's the problem? You should want something better for your child. Are you listening to me? And if you are raised by a single mother, you have to fight that spirit. Otherwise, you yourself will begin to fight to go to default settings. What is default settings? Single mother. We cry out against that spirit. Say, any spirit being emitted from my foundation that is working against me, that spirit, I'm subduing it. I'm subduing it. I shut it down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost, help me with these foul spirits that are working against my life as I cry out unto you. Oh, Holy Ghost, I pray. Deal with my foundation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You are not praying aggressive enough for what we are dealing with. You are not being aggressive enough. I'm telling you, these things require aggression. These things require focus. These things require seriousness oh listen there are families that do not have longevity of wealth in fact you can't hold money into your hands for one month. One month. Chayo Mari would I could marry Gary one month. It is not permitted in your family. Something that requires money must happen. We are going to fight that spirit. What is that spirit? It is called the spirit of the emptiness. What is that spirit? It is called the spirit of the waster. The waster. The waster. The waster. Ayata, kalia da bagia nda 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 haya. The waster will make you compete with other people when you can't afford what they can afford. The spirit of the waster, ayata mahaya. You need to fight that spirit. Yelaria do bahaya. Ene munuyeka na zambata ata urike nae. The spirit of the waster that has been assigned to shut your business from your relatives. We shut it down today. We shut down that power. Ah. There are powers that set potential. Such that even any potential client, it destroys. Potential marriage relationship destroys. It's a spirit that attacks anything potential. And you, all, your life is full of what could have been. Stretch your hands. Say, Holy Spirit, today I cry out against the power that fights potential. You have put so many things, potential greatness in me. There are powers that frustrate my efforts because they frustrate potential greatness. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I attack that power. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Potential, potential, potential. Potential, potential. Listen, there are ladies who come to my wife and say, Mama, quite a potential. Quite a potential. Potential, potential is the name of a guy. Who is the potential to marry? After a short while, she asks, Quite potential. Ah, mother. Now, you've been going around that merry-go-round for the past 15 years. Frustrated relationships. You can argue about bubblegum, bubblegum, bubblegum. You know what I'm saying? bubblegum. You know chewing gum. I know it's bubblegum. I know it's chewing gum. So, you are calling me crazy. Yeah. 
if I'm crazy, leave me alone. So don't be there. Silly arguments. It's not about the argument. It's not about bubble gum. It's not even about bubble gummers. <laughs> Do they still make bubble gummers? <laughs> All the people with young children said yes. Are you here? So, what we need to deal with is the root of the problem. If the root is faulty, don't blame the fruit. Don't blame the fruit. The fruit is reporting what's in the root. If a fruit has worms, please go and check the root. Why are things not working? Nothing is just working. Why? And to prove that things can work in Zimbabwe, check your neighbor. Check your neighbor. Amara is It's that's not true. Foundation. Kune foundation in onzu murambwa ne mari. Where money rejects you, you need to get angry at foundation. You need to, there are things which you will not deal with until you are angry. Stop explaining. Begin to have a holy anger in you. And say, Lord, how come others are getting it? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with my hands that these hands cannot handle a thousand dollars a month? A mere thousand! One thousand! I tell pastors, if you are a pastor and no member has ever given you as a man of God a thousand dollars, come for deliverance. They don't come. They don't come. They show a pasha yamun one about one and where I'm trying to get a couple thousand. If you work for everything, you have to work for everything. That is not a blessing. Listen, every worker is worthy of his wage. Is that Bible? Hello. But where is the blessing of the Lord? Where is what comes by favor? Someone should be able to cut a slice of the earth, land, and give it to you. Yeah. You need to believe that. Are you listening to me? If we change these foundational issues here, I'm telling you, your life will shift. Don't miss tomorrow, whatever you do. Don't miss tomorrow. Don't miss it for anything. Tomorrow night, are you here? Tomorrow night, there'll be fireworks here. Hallelujah. Tomorrow night, we are taking our money back. Tomorrow night, we are taking our prosperity back. Tomorrow night, we are taking our potential back. Tomorrow night, we are going to raise a standard against every background enemy. And we are going to change the order. And you begin to see a shift. Even from today, you begin to see a shift and a transformation. Because the things you deal with today, they will change. Change the order. Say, Lord, change the order. Say, Father, change the order. Listen, refuse for poverty to be normal. You have normalized calamity. You have normalized bondage. It's not normal. It's not normal to share school fees. It's not normal. It's not normal to one half. It's not normal. It's not normal. I said, it's not normal. It's not normal. I said, it's not normal. Uh, your amen is saying it is normal. I said it is not normal. It's not normal. It's not normal to be 40 and above and not have a property. Ah, don't look at me like that. Fight it, fight it. Aliyah Tamahaya. Anasekro Kakato Ramunda Iwe. Aliyah Tama. There's something Shineta do Futirwe from your background. I uh, said that evil power that makes things uh, taken away from me. I fight it today. It's not about the person taking, it's about me and my background. So Lord, help me to fight my background. Say evil background that causes me to lose things. I'm fighting against you, even from now. Now, say this, point to the ground. Say, whatever is in my foundation that makes it okay for people to disfavor me, for people to take things away from me, for me to be robbed, to be plundered, whatever is in my background, whatever is in my foundation that causes this, I address you. Point, point to the ground. Say, I address you by the blood of Jesus. I address you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. 
there are things causing it to be okay it's not okay uh, we cry out against those things hallelujah come on cry out against evil foundation cry out against evil foundation pray 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 thanks Josh pray Pray. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Hallelujah. If in your family no sustainable business has ever risen, you need to fight. If you have ever been fired from a job, you need to fight. If you have ever closed a business, you need to fight. Never mind the reasons. You can talk economy, government, whatever, dispensation, it doesn't matter. Hello? You need to fight. And you need to fight the power that shuts down greatness. There is a spirit in Africa that shuts down greatness. And that spirit did not just start in Africa. Look at Joseph's brothers. When they perceived the greatness in Joseph, they began to fight him. Stretch your hands. What we are dealing with are deep matters. Serious matters of the spirit. And these prayers need you to continue to go and pray at home. Listen. Listen. If you sleep throughout the night, you have given witches and wizards an ability to bewitch you without any intervention or disturbance. There must be an hour or two in the night where you object. Because spiritual trading hours, the real spiritual trading hours, here you are here to learn. So you can practice in the midnight. In the midnight hour, Paul and Silas were praying and praising. But things changed in the midnight hour. So you pray at night. Don't sleep from 9 to 9. Hallelujah. Pray aggressively at night. And let God give you the power and the anointing to deal with matters of the Spirit. Say, so any evil power that fights greatness from my background... You will not fight me anymore. That thing is changing in my life. Say greatness shall be my portion. And I'm willing to fight for the greatness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray aggressively. Pray and fight for greatness. Pray and fight for greatness. Pray and fight for greatness. Come on, lift up your standard, church. Lift up your standard. We are fighting, we are fighting, we are fighting. Pray for greatness. Pray for greatness. There's greatness in you. But you must fight for it. There's greatness in you. But you must fight for it. Hallelujah. There are people here where you, 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 you find it hard to get help. It's like people watch you. They can help you, but they just watch. They know your story, but they're not willing to do something about it. And your pain is the fact that you know they can do it. Watch this. And what makes it even more painful is you see, see them do it for others. What is on others that is not on you? It is your background. Because even if you go and check Kudara, So there's something in your blood that says this one is not supposed to be helped. Such that someone can forget 
they say, they say, I'll help you tomorrow, but they forget. And then when you phone them, they, you begin to be an annoyance. But they promised. Uh, we are going to break that evil history. We are going to destroy that evil history. Your amen is tired. I said we are going to destroy that evil history. What is it that makes men just look at you and get angry? There's something on you. We need to remove it. And we need to disconnect you from that foundation. Because that foundation is feeding problems into your life spiritually. Say, Father, take me out of my foundation. Pull me out of that tribe. That tribe of failure. That tribe of divorce. That tribe of carnality. That tribe of non-achievement. Holy Ghost, pull me out. Open your mouth and pray aggressively. Pull me out, Holy Ghost. Pull me out, Holy Ghost. Pull me out, pull me out, pull me out. He can pull you out. The Holy Ghost can pull you out. The Holy Ghost can pull you out. Uh, the Holy Ghost can pull you out. Lamentations, chapter number five, verse seven. Our fathers have sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. But look, look at the consequences. Give me the next verse. Servants rule over us. It means you are always an employee. Can you see the consequences? So there's powers from your father's house that always make sure you are the tail and not the head. And we need to deal with those powers today. So you can say, I am the head and not the tail. But if you do not deal with the power that makes you tail, you will be the tail. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Many scriptures you proclaim are not working because the power that is fighting that particular revelation, you have not dealt with it. So the scriptures just become a wish list if you don't deal with the corresponding power. Does the Bible not say you must prosper? Where is the prosperity? Is because you have not dealt with foundational poverty. There is what is called foundational poverty. Go and check your background. Go and borrow from your relatives. All of them have got the same sad story. Because you come from together. If you do not have any relative who can give you $10,000, fight. I'm not 10,000 Mumuri. Chineke. Hey! I've spoken your language. You know what I'm saying is true. I have a question. I have a question. If your child or your mother required surgery today for 20,000, would we bury them? If the answer is yes, you need to fight foundation. Man of God, man of God, why do you have to put that in my head? Because I have to go to knock sense into your head. Because when it comes to spiritual matters, people are lackadaisical. We're not giving because we like giving. We are giving because we are desperate to change the order. 
Listen, if you see anyone with money, they are a giver. Anyone. The question is just where they are giving. Inzwa. Kune hama zinga vumiru okupa tunga hama mari. But ane mari, he gives somewhere. It's just possibly not to you or to the church. But there's an altar where he gives. And part of what he gave could be you as a sacrifice. Listen to me. I'm telling you, Yakabata. This is Africa. In Africa, you don't prosper by education. Go and find jobs. Where are the jobs? Because the education is supposed to get you a job. Hello? There are no jobs. So there's a territorial power that can make jobs evaporate. You keep getting certificates to get a job. The job is not the answer. God is there's blood in the hands of your forefathers. And the voice of Abel is crying out against you. And you need to take the voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Read your Bible. Better things, better things. <laughs> Put it up there. Better things, Hebrews. Better things, better things. Have you taken the blood of Jesus to speak better things than what you are seeing in your family? There are better things. There are better things. Uh, don't settle for Mazichke. There are better things. Uh, don't settle for Chiri Condition Japan. There are better things. Uh, I said there are better things. Uh, don't settle for one room, one room. Uh, come on, uh, one room. There are better things. Uh, I said there are better things in the blood of Jesus. Uh, but we need to take that blood and pour it into our foundation. Somebody shout better things. Uh, Oh, you need to shout and shout better things. Shout Jehovah. I cry out for better things. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I invoke the blood, the blood of Jesus, to speak better things. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Better things. Better things. Better things. Better marriage. Better for your children we need better things don't be satisfied there are better things ah, yeah, tama. there are better things somebody say better things or say better things say the blood crying vengeance we are shutting it down say every blood spilled by my forefathers I cry out and I shut down your voice we need better things open your mouth and begin to pray pray better things better than Guroja better things better things better things Pray, son, pray. Better things. Better things. Better things. Better things. Allah must speak better things. Better things. Better things. A blood must speak better things. Lift up your right hand. Say, blood of Jesus. Right now, I invoke you in my background. Blood of Jesus. Begin to deal with any spirit that is fighting better things in my life my life should be better than this my marriage should be better than this my business should be better than this my children should be better than this i cry out for the grace for better things open your mouth and begin to cry out Better things, better things, better things. Better things. Listen, Abel was a good guy. He was a nice guy. He obeyed God. But when he died, his blood was speaking against the progress of Cain. His blood was saying, The heavens are shut. His blood was saying the ground will not cooperate with you. His ground was his blood was saying any time you meet someone 
they are going to want to kill you. He had to cry out for mercy. Listen, the blood of Abel, when it was spilled, it went into the ground and the ground began to speak. Are you listening to me? The voice of your brother's blood. Put it up there, Genesis 4. The voice of your brother's blood. Whoever was killed and was an African, they have a voice, 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 voice of our brother's blood. So many killings in Africa. Political killings, hated killings, racial killings, killings because of ethnicity. These issues have not been dealt with. That's why our economy is upside down. The same farms that used to export all over the world now fail to export anything. Very little exports simply because there's blood crying out from the ground. I'm not a politician. I'm a spiritual man. I'm teaching you so that you can go to your farm and say the blood that was spilled during farm invasions and is speaking against other farmers minus mine. I'm teaching you the ways of the kingdom. You can command divine exemption. Are you hearing me? Even if your forefathers are and because of that your life is complicated. You go and you say, Jehovah, I call on the blood of Jesus to begin to speak better things than blood. Don't be too English. Begin to speak right now. Begin to cry out for the blood. We invoke the blood of Jesus. We invoke the blood. The blood of mercy. Jehovah, we cry for mercy. Come on, pray. Mercy, 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 mercy. Listen. Jesus was not just supposed to die. Jesus had to bleed. Listen, he could not die of being choked. Are you, are you understanding me? He could not die of a heart attack. He would not have dealt with the sins. <sighs> Cain killed Abel. His blood went into the ground. And the ground was speaking. Jesus had to bleed out so that his blood goes into the ground, gravity. And when his blood went into the ground, that's when the blood had the ability to now veto what was being spoken by the blood of Abel. So there is an Abel who has killed in your family. Uh, and his blood is speaking until today. So until you take the blood of Jesus uh, and begin to say this issue here, he was bruised for my iniquities. If you are bruised, you bleed. And he bled uh, so that the blood of Jesus speaks better things. I'm teaching you high level spirituality. Hey, Kabahaya. Begin to pray with that uh, revelation. Blood. And they tell you. Blood of Jesus. These are deep spiritual matters. You are fixing your life here. You are changing the history. Uh, you are changing the history. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was chastised for our peace. And by his stripes we were healed. Listen. If you are wounded, you bleed. If you are bruised, you bleed. If you are chastised, you bleed. And by stripes, you bleed. On his way to Golgotha, he was bleeding. <laughs> As he was walking, he was bleeding. He was walking on a cursed ground. Uh, and his blood was hitting the cursed ground uh, and was giving us the ability to deal with any curse that is coming from that guy. That's why he could not be choked to death. 
He had to plead so that his blood could speak. He had to plead so that his blood could speak. And his blood will remain quiet if you don't speak his blood. <laughs> you need to speak it and say, I invoke. Uh, say with me, say, I invoke the uh, blood of Jesus uh, upon my background. Uh, there is blood uh, that was spilled uh, that is speaking negative in my background. It's complicating my life. Uh, but I invoke the uh, blood of Jesus uh, to speak better things, Hebrews. Uh, better things uh, than the blood of Abel. Open your mouth and begin to pray, begin to pray. Better things, better things, better things. Better things. Better things. Better things. Better things than these financial storms you are experiencing. Better things than this hardship you are experiencing. Better things than these failures you are experiencing. Better things, better things, better things. Better things than last minute failure. Better things, Ayatama. Better things, better things, better things. A blood that speaks better things. Better things, better things. Is it on her? Better things, better things. Speaks better things. Come on, pray. Listen. Who here can say I have now understood the mystery of the blood? Imagine if you did not come to prayer shift and you skip this day. It means you can go for the next five years shadow boxing, fighting shadows. Are you listening to me? That's why it's important to attend as many sessions as possible. Never miss a session when you can attend. I've given you a key, a key, a major, major key. You can change anything. The blood of Jesus represents the mercy of God. And because of the blood of Jesus, mercy, we are not consumed. So we've got to activate that blood. So that where others are receiving judgment, we receive mercy. You know, the punishment for every crime is not the same. Because mercy can be factored in. Where someone is given seven years, somebody can be given three years, and then come out after one year based on good behavior. But someone is languishing for seven years in prison. The laws of God can change by the mercies of God. And the mercies of God are not automatic. They've got to be activated by you and me. David was a powerful sinner. David. What is the difference between David and other kings? David had the ability to activate the mercy of God. He knew how to go before God and to plead for mercy. He knew how to touch the heart of God. That's why if you are a proud sinner, you are finished. You are finished. Learn to beg for mercy to people and to God. Don't be proud in all your errors. When you mess up and you kneel down and you genuinely ask for forgiveness, listen to me. If the person who you're asking for forgiveness does not forgive you, they are the ones who are now wrong. There's something about humility that when someone comes with humility and they beg for mercy, something touches your heart. Imagine what God does when he sees genuine repentance. That's why even in your prayers concerning the foundation, repent on behalf of the forefathers. Do me find it in the book of Daniel because Daniel was, was very powerful. He, 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 he dealt with some foundational issues because he went and he asked for forgiveness for the sins of the forefathers. He said, we have sinned and committed iniquity. Iniquity is the sins of the forefathers. He was not talking, he, 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 the sin part, yes. <laughs> but not the iniquity part. But he put himself there, he said, we. When your forefathers killed people, you killed people with them. Were you not in the loins? If the blessing comes to the loins, what about the... These are deep spiritual matters here. 
what we are dealing with here today can, is, can, can change the course of history. Anything negative in your foundation is changeable. It is changeable. It's not a death sentence. You can change it. Don't be too lazy to change spiritual things. Don't discuss them. Change them. Say we are changing it. Say it again. Say we are changing it. The deep poverty in my family. We are changing it. The rise and fall syndrome. We are changing it. Near success syndrome. I, I am changing it. Exchange destinies. I am changing it. I am changing the order. Premature death. I am changing it. Witchcraft captivity. I am changing it. Evil altar bondage. I am changing it. Gozi. Vagabond affliction. I am changing it. Satanic punishment in my family. I am here to change that order. Spiritual blindness. I am here to change that order. Bad luck, misfortune. I am changing that order by the blood of Jesus. The mystery of the emptiness in my family. I am changing it. The powers of the waster that have ravaged through my family. I am changing the order. Cast hands, cast feet. I am changing the order. Evil horns rising up against the family. I am crushing them. I am the repairer of the bridge. I am the Phineas. Curses, afflictions. I am subduing them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You can change it. You can change it. You can change it. You can change it. You can change the family history. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 12 from verse 22. There's something we need to change. That is from our background. That is delay and postponement. Mm. Mm -hmm. If we edited out the spirit of delay from your life, you would not be here. In terms of capacity, wealth, you would not be anywhere near where you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is saying there are more, there's more wealth that has been delayed than what you have. Hello? So if you don't fight for it, you remain where you are. He said, Son of man, this is God speaking. What is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel? I have a question. What is the proverb in your land? What is the general saying in your land? There's something that I address thoroughly. Tao, please. When I'm at the airport or I, when I go to a foreign nation and they discover I'm a Zimbabwean and they begin to say shame, I say, no, shame on you. never be ashamed to be black. Never. So there's a spirit of shame that follows black people. That they rise but eventually fall. Ah, say minus me. Say minus me. Say I reject that spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. Spirit of rise and fall that is on the black man. You are a proverb that I reject today. Open your mouth and reject that proverb. Reject that prophet. Reject that prophet. Pray somebody. Pray. Reject that prophet. Reject that prophet. Reject that prophet. Listen. There is a proverb that says the son of another woman will not prosper. Jephthah, Jephthah, you are thrust out. I think Judges 11. And because thou art the son of another woman.
Say his background. Came to fight him. How were you born? How were you born? You could be the son of another woman. But your life can be different. I said to God at one point, why can't you hide certain things from the Bible? Why didn't you hide certain things? Like the fact that Solomon was the son of another woman. But he, but he became king. He said, because I wanted people to know that it is possible despite your history. And Solomon fought. It was a battle. Are you listening to me? Your background is what determines the level of battles you fight. But you can fight the battles. You don't just give in and say, ah, kwantika ba akuite. Hansi, what is this proverb? Put it back there. You see, Hansi shall not have the inheritance. Sorry, go back there. Hansi, because you are the son of another woman, no inheritance. He begged Guru Was he the son? Was he the one who volunteered and said, I want to be the son of Harlot? Please let me come through Harlot. There are things you did not have a choice in, but you can change the consequences. Don't deny the consequences. Confront them. That is powerful. That is powerful. Don't deny the consequences. The consequences are there. The consequences are there. The Bible says a bastard shall not enter to the tenth generation. That means you need ten generations to clean out bastardhood from the blood. According to the Bible. But there is a provision for mercy where you can clean it one time. Okay. Jesus turned water into wine. Hello? And that's the problem is you leave it there. It means Jesus had the power to turn anything into anything you pray. A bastard can be a king, Solomon. A pauper can be wealthy. Are you understanding me? Maybe today I'm here alone. I don't know. But are you here this morning, somebody? You can change the order. Jesus turn water into wine. You can turn divorce into marriage. Who told you it can't change? Who told you that proverb cannot change? Say every proverb from my background. I'm changing you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Say I'm changing that proverb. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to. You can change the order. You can change the order. You can change it. Open your mouth. You can change your You can change it. And what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel? Read the next two words for me. The next two words? What does the proverb say? Listen to what is said about your background. <laughs> Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus says, no, there's no guile in him. He's not, he's not just having an attitude. <laughs> so the things they are saying are true. <laughs> That's why Jesus who came out of Nazareth, they were fighting him. Because they were surprised, can anything good come out of Chipinge? Could Chipinge go witchcraft? Anytime you come from Chipinge, you are suspected of being part of the witchcraft. What about Chipinge? Hey! Binga. Those are some suspect areas. You come from Mashingo. Have you not heard that statement? But you can change the order. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Caption. Why accept what you can change? Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's one of the most powerful captions I've ever been given. Why accept what you can change? This thing, you could turn it Amari, you lend people money, they don't give it back. You need to change the order. This thing of you get customers and lose them. You start a business and lose it. We are changing the order. Shout, I'm changing the order. Say, Jehovah, I'm changing the order. Put it 
back there. Can anything good come out of Israel? Come out of Nazareth? Philip said, come and see. Do you know what that means? Changes are visible. I thank God I spent time with the Holy Ghost last night. I'm tired in my body, but no, it was worth it digging up what God wants to say and do in your life. Come and see. Come and see the house that I'll buy after I've changed the order. Come and see the business I will raise after I've changed the order. Come and see the family I will raise after I have changed the order. Come and see. <laughs> oh, yeah. That means you've been inviting people. You don't hear me. <laughs> After something good comes out of you, uh, you've been inviting people uh, to the dedication of your commercial building. Come and see. That means you leave a testimony. Somebody shout, Come and see. The things we have seen in the spirit, the things we have heard through prophecy, are about to be the things we will handle. You are about to handle a Range Rover. I said it's not yet game over. Because you are about to handle a Range Rover. I speak it over somebody. I said it's not yet over. Not before you get your Range Rover. Goodness and Mercedes Benz are about to follow you all the days of your life. We are changing the order. I said we are changing the order. I wish I had somebody who is here with me today. We are changing the order. I prophesy we are changing the order. Aria tabako labahaya. Aria tabako labako tamahaya. Listen, we are going to shift some things. Hallelujah. I am I said we are going to shift and change some things. Proverbs 12. Uh, Ezekiel 12. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's an unusual anointing I'm carrying today. And what is this proverb you have about the land of Israel, which says, so deal with what it says. So you go and find whatever is said about Murieyu, and you find corresponding scriptures and change it. Don't say as Naba says. And there are many voices and none without relevance. Don't rubbish what people say. If Baba Mkuru says you will not excel, you better get fasting. You don't just say in the natural. You go in the spirit and say in the spirit in this What is this in the spirit? I am the head and I'm not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm going upwards and forwards. I will arise and shine. These horns, we, we destroy them. The horns that say I will not raise up my head. Are you understanding? That's how you change those words. So for every one case that an evil uncle issues, find seven corresponding scriptures, the number of completion, and veto that and establish the new order. And there are many voices, but none without significance. You see that? So don't, don't water down or say, Ashnabasa. Say it matters. Say it matters. Go back to Ezekiel. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone tell Godfrey the instructions for business. He was not here. He says, which says, listen to what they say. The days are prolonged. What are the days being prolonged? Time root of farm. Time root of farm. To be prolonged. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, Friday. No, no Monday. Tuesday afternoon. Th th Thursday. Thursday. Next Monday is definite. Days become weeks. Weeks become months. Months become years. While the days are being prolonged. You go to the next customer. Same thing. Hello? It's the same script. The customers are changing. It's just the actors changing. But the script is the same. So the movie is the same. <laughs> 
What movie are you playing out? Go and check it. Don't play a kaito na babago. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. I said business people, change it. Change it. The days are prolonged and every vision fails. Every vision fails. Every vision. Every vision. That means you've tried how many things? You see that? So there's an evil power, watch this, that empowers the proverb. There's a spirit, much behind the proverb. And it keeps repeating itself. If you keep having accidents, there's no point in buying different cars. Ah, no, that one. I think the braking system is poor. Let me try Toyota. I know Mitsubishi, no, my brake, Toyota. And then you go to VW, the problem is not Mitsubishi, Toyota, or VW. The problem is your background. I told you the other day, there are people whose lives, it looks like the realm of the spirit is not at peace until you have drama or you lose things in your life. After you lose the things, then there's a calm. Storm. Can I give you a suggestion? If you keep have, having accidents, stop buying cars. No, stop. Stop. Until you deal with this issue. Until you deal with this issue. You need to learn to go into a season where you set yourself apart and you ask yourself tough questions. What's wrong with me? If you are still blaming other people, you are not ready to deal with foundation. You are not ready to deal with... If you are still playing the blame game, it's not my fault. All men are dogs. What is it about you that all men want to be dogs when it comes to you? No, we are talking. We are talking. And then you write a book titled All Men Are Dogs. No. Your background attracts my who who. You are a child, you see it, you see your mother crying. Huh? You've forgotten that she's your mother. You will attract a man who makes you cry like your mother is crying until you deal with foundation. Maybe I'm going too deep. Maybe I'm depressing you. Are you yet? I have your attention today. Oh. As the days are prolonged, say no more delays. Shout no more delays. Say I reject the power of delay. I decree no more delays. You power of delay. No more. Open your mouth and pray. Delayed hospital. Delayed hospital. Delayed hospital. Chipatara. 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 Mweaka bata chipatara. Mweaka bata hospital. Mwea yakabata chipatara. Cover with the mantle, please. We are about to shut By now, that hospital should be there. I said, by now, that hospital should have been there. Stretch your hands. Father, this man has a heart for the kingdom. I open up his resources by the anointing. I open up the resources.
Doctors in the house, please come. Doctors in the house, come, please. Please come, both of, both of you, please come. Hold, hold my hand with both your hands. Both, thank you. Yes, that's it. Stretch your hands, church. Let's pray for this vision. Not only their own personal hospitals, but the hospitals that are for kingdom prosperity. Kingdom prosperity hospital. Hospitals. Group of hospitals. Laboratories. Uh, research centers. Medical centers. 24 hours. Kingdom 24 hours. Kaliada Mahaya. Aida Bakola Tianda Mahaya. People will not only receive medical attention, but there will be the power to heal. I speak that prophecy. It must come to pass. God backs up my words. In the name of Jesus. Softly down. Yes. Now, Father, bless them individually and their families. May they never lack for any good thing. Never. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Ah, may God grant you strength even throughout this day. And as you prepare for tomorrow night where we are taking back our wealth from our evil foundations. May God prepare your spirit your soul, your body, your heart and may you have results even from this moment going forward. We love and appreciate you. Thank you for joining us online. God bless you. Have a wonderful day church family. Be blessed.